So today I'm going to show you how to light your Tyrrell burner correctly um, for use in the lab. And the first thing I want to point out is that I have both my barrel of my burner and the gas flow adjustment knob completely closed. So right now there will be, a, there will be no gas getting into the burner. I also have the gas turned off at the jet, but no gas can get into the burner and no additional oxygen can get in through these air intake openings. I have my line stretched out nice and straight and what I'm going to do is to turn the gas on at the jet. I'm going to take it from the 90 degree position and turn the handle so that it's directly lined up over the jet and over the hose. So now gas is trying to get through here but it can't because I have the gas flow knob closed. So I'm going to open that up maybe about one to two turns to the, to the right. And you're going to notice that I have this bright yellow luminous flame. This is not a good flame to use for doing lab work for a number of different reasons. So this is the flame you want to start off with because this makes it easy for the, us to then see the flame to adjust the size that we want and then ultimately to optimize it by twisting the barrel and introducing more oxygen. So right now the flame is a little too big. We would like the flame to be about eight centimeters tall. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and reduce the amount of gas to get the flame to be the height that I would like. And that looks to be about the right, about the right height that I'm interested in for lab work. So now I'm ready to optimize it and what's going to happen is I'm going to try to get all of this yellow color to disappear by creating a, a really fuel lean flame, which means that I've got a really good mix of oxygen and just a moderate mix of fuel. And notice as soon as I start twisting my barrel to the left, I have reduced the color of that flame. But I'm gonna keep going because this flame is not a good enough flame. Okay, I wanna keep twisting this left until I get a nice crisp cone within a cone. You see a very bright light blue pointy inner reducing cone and outside of that is the more invisible sort of darker blue outer oxidizing cone. So I'm going to shut the lights off for just a second so that you can see what this flame should look like and you should see the proportion of the inner reducing cone size compared with the overall flame size. So this is a nice hot flame to use for lab work. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be clean for us. It's not going to create soot or anything else like that that we need, no incomplete combustion. And now I'm ready to go ahead and turn my burner off. And I have some choices. I can either shut the gas valve off, or the, the quick way that I like to do this is to shut the gas off of the jet. And then to get this ready for the next person, I twist my barrel closed. I close the gas valve and I detach the hose from the jet and it's ready for the next person.